Hello, this is George Urbacek, bass player and music educator from Australia. Although I do shows, gigs, concerts and so on, my main gig currently is Bass Lessons Online, a complete online course of bass lessons from beginner to advanced, available through the website creativebasslessons.com. In this video today, I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to review a bass wah pedal. It's called the Wowie Bass Wah. Although I use effects judiciously, I do own and use quite a few effects with my basses. This review is based on three weeks of owning the bass Wowie Wah, taking it to heaps of gigs, actually all the gigs I did in the last couple of weeks, and rehearsals as well. Those gigs I um, used the upright bass on as well as five and four string bass guitars. And the styles range from folky to blues to pop to funk to world music to jazz. So um, I got a good chance to check out this little baby and here it is right now. So there it is, the Bass Wah Wee Wah by G Lab. As you can see, it's got a pretty solid construction, lots of heavy stuff. I like heavy, that's usually a good indication for me. A lot of stainless steel. Very good, very well constructed. I haven't had a problem with that at all so far. The other nice thing is it comes with a straightforward manual, not too little, not too much. In the middle of the manual you'll see a couple of pictures which are pretty self-explanatory, just um, giving you some indications of setup. Speaking of basic sound setup, the unit comes with a sticker on top of it which gives you a couple of sounds you can get started straight away with and they're certainly very good. Let's have a listen. Now that was with all of the filters on the high setting. You could hear it was quite trebly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set just one of the filters to the low setting and that enhances the low frequencies a little bit more. First of all, I'll just play an open E and have a listen to it on the high setting. Now on the low setting. See how the frequency is a bit more rich, a bit more broad. Shaky, shaky, shaky. I'll just show you a couple of the features of the bass where we are, which will enable you to change your own sound settings to suit your taste. What I did here is I changed the range, there it is there, from high to low. So high gives you a bit more of a wah sound, I guess, and low gives you more of a broad chorus-like effect on the low notes especially. While we're on this side of the wah unit, let's have a look at this. This is the battery on-off switch. This is a great feature of this unit. What that does is when you switch it to off, you actually don't have to unplug your bass lead, so you don't, that, don't get that clunky unplugging and plugging in effect. So just switch it to off and it uh, saves your battery. Speaking of battery savings, of course, here on the output side it also has a 9 volt DC input. So back to the other possibilities now for changing the sound settings. Here you have a treble, high, low. There you have the Q factor, high and low. That changes the overall spectrum of the frequencies. And down the bottom you've got a volume high-low. While we're on this side of the unit, 
let's have a look at this. This is a very cool feature which I haven't demonstrated yet. See that on off mode switch touch? Well it's actually touch sensitive the unit. It's actually true bypass and when it's switched to touch when you're not touching it with your foot you're actually bypassing it. As soon as your foot touches it it actually detects that little bit of weight and then switches itself on. So it's basically instantaneous. You don't have to go pushing really hard to get uh, the unit to switch on and off like on traditional units. You can do this on this as well and I'll show you how and why that's a good thing. But the touch sensitivity is a great feature of this unit too. Before I move on to the next part of the demo I just wanted to point out two other features I forgot before. One is these two yellow LEDs on the top of the unit, they're really great because they will show you that the unit is in active mode. So if you're coming onto a dark stage, you'll see if it's switched on or not. And the other thing in regards to all of these different um, buttons and indicators to uh, set your own sounds, I think you've got about eight or nine different basic sound setting possibilities just by switching the switches, for example, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, etc. So that's pretty um, awesome just to get those different sound possibilities right from the start. Now let's have a look at the bass wowie wah pedal in traditional mode, that is where you actually have to depress the front of it to switch it on or off. So I've got it in the on setting now. So this is not the touch sensitive mode, which is um, true bypass as soon as you take your foot off. Now what I've discovered about this mode is actually really cool because wherever you leave the wah pedal, no matter what setting you leave it on, it's going to actually give you that particular sound. And I actually use that sound on a lot of my gigs for a little while before I just maybe depress or release the pedal a little bit to get another sound. And that creates great dynamics in the band. I'll just show you a basic riff and um, let's see what it sounds like. So I'll just put the... Um, put the wire pedal all the way down now on gigs is once you gradually depress the wah and make it more wah-y then um, that starts to turn heads people going wow what's that you know especially when a bass player does it so it really stands out okay I'm just going to set up my upright bass now I'll give you a couple of demos on that and that should do it okay a bit of bowing <laughs> Now a bit of plucking. the G Lab bass wowie wah for you. Bottom line, it's fun and I love it. Enjoy your own. See you next time. Bye.